Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable Steam input and then restart the game. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab. Now over here, you, you can see use default settings. So you can first of all, disable Steam input. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working in that case, you can enable steam input and then relaunch the game and then check check which one is working fine for you now game pass user uh, can add the game to steam now you can go to um, steam and at the bottom left here you can see add a game option click on add a non steam game and then now click on browse over here and then open c drive wherever the game is installed in my case c drive xbox games uh, then oe augusta content and you will see game launcher helper click on click select it then click on open and then click on open now once added over here now you can launch the game from steam and then you can check if the control is working or not if that does not work, you can make a right click on game launcher helper, go to properties and then you can go to controller tab and then you can try disable steam input and then check if that does not work. You can even try enable steam input and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to PlayStation controller user enable controller in sound control panel. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then then go to sound option over here. and then over here connect your controller using the usb cable so you have to make sure that you use the wired connection to connect your controller to the computer so let me connect the controller One, you will see dual sense wireless controller over here um, once you connect it, here you can see the controller. Now make a right click and then make sure this is enabled. So if this is disabled like this, in that case, you have to make a right click and enable dual sense, dual sense wireless controller. Once it is enabled, make a right click and then go to configure speakers, quadraphonic, next, make sure front, left and right and surround speaker, both are checked over here and then click on next click on finish and then launch the game and then you can check the next step is to use wired connection so if you're using xbox or playstation controller make sure that you connect your controller using the cable to the computer and then you can check if that does not work playstation controller users use ds4 windows so you can just search for this ds4 windows if not installed and you can install this ds4 windows and then you can configure your controller and then launch the game next step is to update controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller uh, you can just type in xbox accessories app in microsoft store and then you have to select xbox accessories app if not installed, you will see install button. So install it. Once installed, launch Xbox Accessories app. Now, once you launch Xbox Accessories app, make sure that you connect your Xbox controller using the USB cable or else it will not detect your controller. Now, let me connect the controller. Now, once the controller is connected, uh, you will see your controller over here and then you can click on this more options, click on these three dots and then you will see if there is any update, you will see update option over here. So update your controller. Now, once the update is complete, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have a PlayStation controller, in that case, you can install this PlayStation accessories app from the PlayStation website. So go to the official PlayStation website and then you will see download for windows and you can run this exe file and you can install playstation accessories app in my case the app is already installed so launch playstation accessories app and then connect your controller once again
once the controller is connected you will see your controller being detected over here here you can see in my case it's up to date if you see update option click on update update your controller and then relaunch the game and then you can check now still not working the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode so on steam at the top right you will see big picture mode icon click on it now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can select your game and then you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to disconnect all additional usb adapter connected to the computer so if you have any external devices which you are not using any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it you can even try, if you can you can unplug keyboard and then check disconnect extra controller con connected to the computer sometimes you have extra dongle connected disconnect it disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any virtual controller like vjoy etc make sure that you disable vjoy or any kind of virtual controller and then you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to uh, run the game with controller like the controller should work and then you can check so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel